Hi boys and girls, I'm going to be going over activity number two for week 5.5. Can you see week 5.5 right here? Okay, so we're doing um, activity number two. Vocabulary for signs of winter. We're going to go down to the second story. Mine looks a little bit blurry. I don't know why, but I think you can see it okay. Uh, signs of winter is an informational text. Can you see that up here? Informational text. That means we're going to have real information. All the, the, the things that we read here in signs of winter are true. Signs of winter. Seasons. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Seasons. Look at those pictures, boys and girls. We have winter, spring, summer, and autumn, or we also call that fall, right? Let's go ahead and read this page together. It says, there are four seasons during the year. They are called spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The weather, plants, animals and daylight hours change during each season. Do you see those words underlined in blue, boys and girls? The word seasons, the word weather, and the word daylight. Those are going to be part of your vocabulary words and part of your activity or part of your um, number two activity. What are seasons? We know what seasons are. Look at the trees in each season. Winter, look how that tree looks. It has nothing. It's either frozen or it has snow on it. There are no leaves. It's just brown or gray. Right now, outside, we have our spring trees because we are in spring now. Our trees are starting to grow their beautiful leaves. In the summer, the trees are full. Another word for full is lush. Look at all the, those, those uh, leaves on this lush tree. Doesn't that look beautiful? And then we have fall or autumn. Remember in fall, the leaves start to change colors. They turn into red, orange, yellow, brown, and then they fall down. That's why we call it fall. Let's look at this next page, winter. Remember boys and girls, when we have an image, here's an image. We need to make sure we look at it, and we need to make sure we read the caption. Let's see what the caption says. Did you know? In France, it is winter in December. In New Zealand, it is winter in July. Think about July here, boys and girls, when it's July. We're not in winter in July. When it's July here, it's very hot. So it's the opposite. Let's see what it says. During the year, Earth travels around the sun. This brings some parts of Earth closer to the sun. Other parts of Earth get farther from the sun. Winter happens in the parts farthest from the sun. In the winter, there are many clouds in the sky. Instead of rain or raining, it snows. Vanessa and Tom are building a snowman. They start by making a huge snowball. So we don't get much snow here for winter, but if we lived somewhere else, up north, we would be seeing a lot of snow. Look at that beautiful picture. What do you see, boys and girls, on the rooftops of these houses and these buildings? We see snow, right? There is very little daylight. There's one of your vocabulary words, daylight in winter. It gets dark out early in the evening. Daylight, boys and girls, is the, t the kind of light that we get during the day. In the summertime, we have a lot more daylight. In the wintertime, we have less daylight. In the wintertime, nighttime comes faster. Here is another image and another did you know. Remember, we need to be reading these did you knows. Did you know pine and fir trees have needles? 
the needles stay on the trees during winter. So these needles, boys and girls, we don't call, they're not like the agujas that your grandma uses to put the button on your shirt. No, this is what we call the leaves, las hojas, of the pine and the fir trees. Think about a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree is a pine or a fir tree. And those little skinny, thin leaves, they're called needles. In winter, many trees are bare. The branches don't have any leaves. So here's a word, bare. That means that the tree has nothing. There are no leaves. Oh, look here. We have a word in blue and it's underlined. Let's see what this tells us. The temperature can get very cold during the winter. People need to wear extra clothes to keep warm. James is making a snow angel. His coat and snow pants keep him from getting cold. Look at him. He's making an angel in the snow. And like we did said in class, we have to make sure we're wearing the right clothes during winter. What does the word temperature mean, boys and girls? Do you remember when we made a um, thermometer in science class and if it was hot, the thermometer would go up and if it was cold, the thermometer would go down? That tells us the temperature, how hot or how cold something is. Oh, look at this beautiful animal. Let's read the did you know. Did you know an American bison's coat grows extra long and thick in the winter? So his coat, su pelaje, it grows longer, crece más largo, or it grows thicker, más grueso, in the winter. Why do you think that happens? Why do you think his fur, his coat, grows longer and thicker. The temperature, there's our vocabulary word, is cold for animals too. Some move to warmer places for the winter, like the geese in the other story. The geese fly somewhere warmer. Animals that have a lot of fur, like the bison, stay during the winter. Their fur keeps them warm. It is hard for animals to find food in the winter. Think of the geese in the other story. The geese, they fly away to find a warmer place and to find food. But the moose, the moose stay because they eat the bark. Remember that? It says in autumn or fall, beavers collect extra sticks and logs. They keep them in the water near their lodges. They eat the bark up oh, like the moose. They eat bark during the winter. The lodge boys and girls, that's their home. So in the fall, the uh, beaver starts preparing and he collects sticks, he collects logs to be ready for the winter. Look at the did you know. Did you know winter comes after autumn and before spring? Ooh, what are these boys doing? It says, Bobby likes to go sledding in the winter. What do you do in the winter? Well, we don't get a lot of snow here. We probably, we can still play outside or sometimes we don't. But look at what Bobby is doing. Do you see this thing right here? That blue thing? That's a sled. So he runs and then he puts the sled down and he slides down the snow hill. And then here, boys and girls, we have a glossary. The glossary gives us words. Here we have how many words? One, two, three, four, five words. And then it tells us what that word means. Remember we saw the word um, needle? Let's look for the word needle. Here it is. A thin, pointy leaf on a pine or fir tree. Look at that. It even tells you what temperature means. 
a measure of how hot or cold something is. Now, listen up, boys and girls, because I'm going to show you something here. Do you see up here at the top where it says number three, assignment number three? It has three questions. Do not do this one, okay? Show it to mommy. Tell mommy, look, mommy, la maestra dijo que no hagamos esta hoja. Do not do assignment number three. You're going to go to the next page, and you're going to look for assignment number two. Do you see that right there? This is the one that you are going to do. We have four vocabulary words. We have season, weather, daylight, and temperature. Okay? Your job is to draw a picture for each vocabulary word. Aquí en, este, en esta actividad, padres, los niños van a dibujar lo que significa cada palabra. So the first word is season. La primera palabra es estaciones o la temporada. And boys and girls, you can probably draw the four seasons. Let me take that off. If you draw the four seasons, you can make four here. You can draw winter, spring, summer, fall. Draw the trees. The next word is weather, right here. La siguiente palabra, padres, es weather o el clima. What is weather, boys and girls? What is happening outside? Have we been having rain here? No. Have we been, uh, has it been windy? We've had windy days. Has it been uh, cold? No, it's been warm, right? So you're going to draw me a picture of weather. Me van a dibujar un, un dibujo de el clima. And then right here we have the word daylight. La luz del día. ¿Qué quiere decir la luz del día? Daylight. How much light do we get in a day? That's what it means. So maybe you can draw a sun here or something that has to do with daylight. And then on this one we have temperature. La palabra temperatura. How can you draw what the word temperature means? This, boys and girls, is the only activity I need from this, this, um, this story. Right here in your answer document, if you want to do your answers here, you can. Remember, you are not doing activity number three. This right here, that is for in winter. Where am I? Go up to find in winter. That's for this one through four. One through four in winter goes here. And then your pictures for your four vocabulary words go here. This is the page that mommy is going to take a picture of. And this is the page that's going to be sent to me. Okay? I hope this helped. I hope you liked um, the story, Signs of Winter. And we'll be having more of these videos to help you out, boys and girls, okay? I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you soon. I miss you.